Warning: Sensitive images. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestro programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com bar inclinada schedule. Hamare karikram pes kiye jate hain kai bhasaon mein. Kripya dekhen suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. ミダラに動物を屠殺して食料に供給するのは神聖なる皇天に推し下まえる天理人道に違反する悪魔の行為である。Please watch on for Prophecy of the Golden Age, Part 167, Prophecy of the True Savior by Seishi Onisaburo Deguchi, Vegetarian. Vegan Side Effect Getting Used to Freedom from Diseases. Gracious viewers, Oai Dekte Urashi Des, which means pleased to meet you in Japanese. I'm Ukano Mitama no Okami, the deity of aquaculture. Innovative people of Japan send you their pure love and well wishes. Throughout the history of mankind, the divine messages are often shrouded in mystery. Prophets, messiahs, or whichever names you call them, are often persecuted and oppressed, their words obscured. But how do we distinguish the true from the false? To do so, one can only rely on the divine's guidance, and the truth will reveal itself to those who earnestly seek it. In our previous episode, the great Japanese clairvoyant and spiritual teacher Seishi Oni Saburo Deguchi gave us a dire warning that unless meat eating is completely eliminated, we cannot hope for world peace. The planet could even be destroyed. このままに放任しておいたなれば、この世界は肉食のために破滅をきたさねばやまぬ。
In a recent phone call with a Supreme Master Television team member, our beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai had also revealed that all humans must become vegan now, or else all of Earth's inhabitants will be subjected to unthinkable suffering. If humans do not change, then probably many will lose their lives, and not just that, but then the economy will collapse. Many things will happen before we can see the change. Even though some already changed into a more benevolent lifestyle, like choosing vegan, you know, to reduce. Karma and reduce destruction for the planet, but not enough. Everyone has to change. Yes. And then the table will turn immediately. Mm. Things will get better immediately, almost. Okay, few weeks. Wow. But nobody listens. Seishi Onisaburo de Gucci astutely explained that the world faced destruction because killing goes against heaven's law as well as the ancient laws of humankind. ミダラに動物を屠殺して食料に供給するのは神聖なる皇天に水死したまえる天理人道に違反する悪魔の行為であるこの時代に日本は一つの国の一つの国の一つの国の一つの国の一つの国の一つの国の一つの国の一つの国の一つの国の一つの国の Namely, in 675 AD, Emperor Tenmu of Japan issued the imperial decree banning meat eating, applying to people of the land animal kingdom. It was perhaps the first ever, possibly the unique, form of a vegan law in history. One year after, in 676 AD, he further issued the Ordinance on Releasing Living Creatures, commanding that caught fish people and bread bird people be freed. Then, in 737 AD, these bans were reinforced by the Ordinance of Prohibition against drinking alcohol and slaughtering, which was issued by another ruler named Emperor Shomu. In addition, Lord Tsunayoshi Tokugawa, who was the shogun ruling over all of Japan in the late 17th century, was even more strict and thorough with his policy of compassion for all living beings. This included official prohibitions on mistreating people of the animal kingdom, most notably dog people, as well as vulnerable humans like the sick, children, and the elderly. Thanks to such bold and ethical leaders, a tradition away from eating and harming countless beings of the people from the animal kingdom lasted for nearly 1,200 years in Japan from the 7th to the 19th century AD. The country enjoyed relative peace during this period. Till today, this long standing meat taboo in Japan has made such a deep impression on people's consciousness that it is still easily accepted as common sense. Moreover, the centuries old practice of refraining from meat eating is believed to have contributed to the good qualities that Japanese people are known for, such as a high sense of morality and courtesy, even in times of hardship, as well as their longevity, endurance, positive spirit, creativity. Preciseness and dislike of impurity, etc. Seishi Onisaburo de Gucci also advised that government leaders, in particular, should eat all the grains, meaning vegetarian or vegan, so that they could cleanse their hearts, gain insights into the inner workings of heaven and earth, and truly understand how to govern. Sube de Kokshoku o Nastoki wa, Senket Sizen ni Kiyomari de, Akira Geku, Satoku. 剣友を奪還し、昇華を洞察し
持って天下の数勢を地質し得るのである。故に万民の頭に立つべき知者は、神血を清め、神知を備えて天下に望まねばならぬのである。Or the leader should be vegan and stop all the animal slaughtering. Then they have more merit. They live longer. The country will be more peaceful and prosperous. Because the leader is very important for the whole nation. So the leader should be absolutely tip top in moral standards, compassion, loving, kindness. But while a veg ruler would prosper his or her nation, Sai Shi warned that a meat eating ruler would only bring misfortune to the land. しかしながら、格のごとき肉食尊重、利己主義一辺の政治家を推薦したる国民は、全く自業自得にして、深海の戒めである。自ら火を取って、その手を焼いたようなものである。How much does the fate of our world really depend on its government leaders? Supreme Master Ching Hai has answered this question clearly many times. We all know that meat eating is number one killer in our world. But it seems to me that mostly some governments are trying so mightily to cover this by aiming at or diverting attention to any other subjects or activities that has very much less. Or zero effect. We should ask ourselves if we want to be on humane side, God's side, or the killer's side. Please answer yourselves and act on it now. Act on God's benevolent side, or we will go down in history as murderers because the consequence. Is graver than any wars and killing up to date combined. Oh, my kind human fellow beings, God granted you the power to take care of our world. What are you doing with it? Please act on it now and rescue our world. Simply just make the vegan law and sign it before it's too late. For you to decide the right thing before it's too late to even regret. Before more of God's wrath descends upon us with more severe weather, more plague, more terror, more lives lost, more precious resources disappear, more financial disaster. Likewise, Seishi Oni Saburo Deguchi was deeply concerned for the world. Including his country of Japan. Ah, it's a little more than a year ago, so I'm going to go to the hospital. So, 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 I'm going to go to the hospital. Only the love can absorb all the negative energies. Only love can transform it. And only the loving heart, compassionate heart of the people can absorb the negative impact that we have created. Yes, that is the picture of what the world would be like if everyone turns vegan right now. We will become more enlightened as a whole society, able of more incredible inventions, thinking of better ways to conduct our governments, an economic system, and all other systems. There would be no more violence among humans. The word war will soon be erased from memory. And perhaps dictionary. Can you imagine? All will be so calm and so beautiful. We will enjoy heaven all around us. One of Seishi 
only Saburo de Gucci's prophetic tales of the spiritual realm foretold that the Savior would abolish filthy foods and produce grains as the proper food for the world. The allegorical story goes like this. Soon after leaving Takamagahara, the highest heaven, for the sake of the world, Susano Ono Mikoto, the savior, saw the goddess Ogetsuhime eat Susano Ono Mikoto's delicious food and offer filthy excretions to Susano Ono Mikoto. Therefore, Susano Ono Mikoto had no choice but to destroy Ogetsuhime. When this happened, seeds of rice, millet, azuki beans, barley, and soybeans were born from different parts of Ogetsuhime's body. These seeds were then collected for planting by Kamu Mimusubi no Mioya no, the progenitor god of the material world. Seishi Oni Saburo de Gucci explained the meaning of the story as follows. Korosae tamaeru という koto wa Okami no go ho soku ni i hanseru oe naru i shokuju no ho ho o konpon teki ni teppai serareta という i gi de arimasu. In other words, the story foretells that the Savior will completely wipe out the filthy ways of humans, including filthy food, meaning eating animal flesh, filthy clothing, which could refer to fur and leather garments made from cruelty, and filthy housing, that is, those slaughterhouses and abattoirs where utter evil cruelty is measured upon the people of the animal kingdom. In short, a virtuous vegan lifestyle would be established by the Savior as the first priority to rebuild and save the world. The session will now begin. The proposed law about banning all meat types will now be submitted for a vote. Be a hero! Save our kids! Ban all meat! As prophesied in the story, since first appearing to the world, Supreme Master Qinghai has been always promoting veganism and urging the government to implement benevolent vegan laws. In the story, the proposal of Susano Ono Mikoto for a cleaner lifestyle was immediately adopted. We have hope that the wise leaders of the world will soon prioritize the vegan law proposed by Supreme Master Qinghai, thus rescuing their co-citizens and bringing permanent peace and joy on earth. You have the power to stop all this. You have the privilege to implement vegan law. No more animal-related suffering businesses. Zero pain, agony for all beings. Mercy will beget mercy from heaven. As you saw, so shall you reap. And this vegan law is the most effective way to save our world. Worldwide Meat Ban, an act to ban all meat and other products made from animal people to ensure the safe and viable future of our children. Section 1 Purposes A. To urgently preserve the habitable conditions of the planet for the next generations. B. To stop the cruelty of killing and harming people from the animal kingdom. And C. To protect the health of all citizens. Section 2 Prohibitions D. It shall be unlawful for any person to consume or purchase any meat and other products made from animal people. E. The production of all meat and other products made from animal people at any scale is strictly prohibited. This includes F. The raising of people from the animal kingdom for their flesh, milk, skin, or other byproducts. G. The raising of fish people on farms or catching of fish people from the wild. H. The hunting of people from the animal kingdom. I. The sale of all such products is also prohibited. J. Slaughterhouses and other related facilities are prohibited and shall be converted to vegan crop growing facilities through redirected subsidies, etc. 
Vegan isn't just a trend, it's a lifestyle, it's a game changer, and it's the future, and it's also becoming the present. Vegan is now. Jane Velez Mitchell, Vegan. So vegan, go vegan, go. Go vegan, go vegan, go. No meat, no dairy, no nuts. Merciful viewers, thank you for being with us today. Please tune in again next week for another episode of Seishi Oni Saburo de Gucci's amazing prophecies about the true savior. Coming up is America first, America last. The contrast in the leadership of His Excellency President Donald Trump and Joe Biden, part one of two. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. May peace be upon you as on all our co-inhabitants. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash AP.